Hey guys, Spotty here, TexasFighting.com. I'm here with Dimitri Ivy. Dimitri, how are you, bro? I'm fine. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good, bro. I want to thank you. I know we cut your uh, your training short a little bit today, and I thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to get some uh, insight on your fight coming up. Now, this is going to be for the uh, Legacy Fighting Alliance uh, number six. It's right, going to be, right. of course, here in San Antonio, Texas, yep. uh, March 10th. Uh, now, Cowboys Dance Hall. I mean, it's, it seems to be the, the place to be as far as promotions coming through. Uh, you yourself have competed in that um, venue before. Yes. Yes, I have. I competed in there. Uh, I'm not sure what the date was, but it was for uh, Legacy uh, back in like 2011. So uh, I'm familiar with you know the venue and stuff like that. And, you know, everybody always wanted me to fight here in San Antonio. I'm always fighting like you know somewhere else or around Texas, uh, around San Antonio, yeah, Texas. So, you know, I'm excited to fight here in San Antonio. So. No, no, for sure, and that's what, that was my other question, man, you beat me to it, bro. But as far as it being in your backyard, man, how comfortable is that? You, have, you can just wake up and then drive out there that same day instead of tra traveling a couple hours, day before. Yeah, man, it, it, it feels good, like, coming here, gym, training here, and then, you know, I have a, a set schedule for my training. You know, I don't have to kind of work around stuff or then have to plan stuff, or, you know, so, you know, come here, go home, come here, go home, that's it. No. <laughs> no, no, for sure, man. The fact that you do work full time yeah. and you do train full time. Yeah. So, I mean, does that affect you? I mean, how, how does that work as far as uh, you being tired for the day, man? Do you just put yourself through every day? Every yeah, workout? I mean, I'm used to it now. Like I said, uh, there's some days when I'm tired. I don't feel like coming to the gym, but I still come to the gym. Uh, you know, and, you know, it's hard work. It's always hard work, regardless if I'm um, working full time or part time. Uh, you know, you know, like I said, my goal is to get to the UFC, so I'm always going to be working hard until when I get there. Even at that, when I do get there, it's still going to be hard enough from there. So. No, no, it's def different. definitely going to be a challenge, man. Face it one day at a time. Now, as far as your, uh, I wanted to ask as far as your upbringing, man, I mean, coming into this sport, what was it that got you into mixed martial arts? Was it jiu-jitsu itself, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, or was it MMA that got you into Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Um, uh, I guess you can say that. Um, I actually, uh, it wasn't even like MMA at all. It was, uh, it was a uh, K-1 I was watching one day on TV, and uh, I don't know who was fighting at the time, but uh, I was just watching. And then I went to the store, and then somebody had a... Uh, me to Jamie Miller, and, and ever since then, as soon as I walked in the gym, they were doing jiu jitsu, and I just got into it. And then from there, I just did it all, I did a whole other thing. No, no, for sure, man. I mean, you mentioned Jamie Miller. I mean, he himself, he's a pioneer in the sport here in uh, San Antonio, Texas, man. The guy's been teaching for over 15, 16 years. Yeah. Um, how, how long have you been training? Let me ask you that. I've been training for nine years. I've been fighting for eight. The whole time I was, I've been under, I've been under Jamie Miller. Okay, yeah, and that was my, my other question. I mean, you have been training under the same coach. I mean, obviously, he knows what he's doing. Yep. Um, you guys have a bunch of monsters coming through here, man, pushing yeah. each other. Uh, who are some of the guys that are getting you ready for this fight? Um, I got uh, Ezekiel Wiley. He's, uh, you know, he's also a professional uh, MMA fighter. I got Fernando uh, Lopez. Uh, he's also a professional MMA fighter. Uh, I got uh, um, Xavier. I got Rusty also, he's helping me out. So I got a bunch of guys that's helping me out, different range of size, you know, what they do from boxing, wrestling, to everything. So, um, yeah, they're getting prepared. No, no, for sure, man. I got here a little earlier. Uh, I got to see you train uh, inside the uh, the octagon behind us. We are yeah. here at the uh, UFC Gym San Antonio, man, of course. Right. But um, I saw you training your key. I mean, is that help your core as far as, uh, say, I know it gets hot in there, bro. So taking it yeah. off, does it make a difference, uh, say, Training without it? Um, yeah, it does for the most part, but I'm, I'm used to it. Training with it on and then with it off, so it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, it helps me from, you know, from positional wise and paying attention to stuff and, you know, you know just, just training with it. You know, that's the only you know, way actually you can get better at shit too, you know, putting on the key and training with the key. So if anything, I train more with the key than I do with no key. No key is a little more. You know, wrestling kind of orientated, and uh, you know, just more so you can get out of where in the gear, of course, it's more technical and stuff like that. So. No, you know. for, for sure, man. Uh, I mean, it's a good thing you mentioned the, the game, no game, man. Uh, your opponent, he's actually another local here. Um, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, you, you guys actually did a super fight a, a couple of weeks back, actually, yeah. man. And uh, you guys did a no gi, uh, went to a draw. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that matchup? I mean, how, how, what do you think? What's the, uh, the as far as the what you got out of it? Let me ask you that. Um, you know, he, uh, what I got out of it, he, you know, Tony's good. Uh, you know, actually, we fought on a, on a, on a 
Hero FC uh, card. Uh, you know, I've seen him fight, and then when I went with him in the, uh, the Super Fight, uh, you know, it's, it was good. It was good. Uh, you know, he's, he's a tough, you know, he's a tough dude. Um, you know, real good jiu-jitsu. Actually, you know, like you said before, he's local here. You know, everyone knows him. You know, and uh, man, just you know, we'll just. It's we'll a good experience. Yeah, we'll see what happens. No, no, for sure. I mean, you guys are you're gonna face him now. This is gonna be inside the cage. Of course, you're gonna be able to you know hit each other. Yeah. Um, being that you know you, you just mentioned earlier, and I didn't know about that, but you uh, you got brought into this by watching K1. You have actually done a kickboxing match. This is this was against uh, Chris Pacetto, uh, another tough opponent here in uh, Texas. Um, you got the win. Uh, kickboxing man, is that something that you're gonna venture into this year, possibly? Uh, yeah, actually, I am. Uh, kind of going deeper into it. I'm um, talking. We're gonna talk to Jimmy Miller about it after this fight. To see um, um, what our options are. We got stuff coming up, and I'm looking into it. So, you know, like I said, I keep posted. I keep all y'all posted on about that. So. No, no, for sure, man. I do thank you, like I said earlier, man, for your time, giving me a few minutes. Now, this fight's be, uh, it's not even like three weeks away. Yeah. So, you're ready for this? Oh, yeah. Everything's going good? Yeah, man. Like I said, I wish it was next week, actually. <laughs> um, like I said, training going good. Uh, you know, weight totally on point as usual. Um, you know, and just training going good. You know, having fun. Like I said, it's here locally uh, in Texas. No, no, for sure, man. Before we end this, man, who would you like to thank? I know you've got a management company. You've got a couple of uh, fighters and some sponsors, man. Give a shout-out to you. Yeah, uh, I want to give a shout-out to uh, my management uh, company. Um, uh, uh, I want to give a shout-out to my sponsors, uh, Revolutus, yeah, Lion's Den, and uh, uh, Rossi. No, no, for sure, man. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be watching this, man. Like I said, we're going to be there live. Uh, this is going to be March 10th. So I wish you the best of luck, man. I'll be there hopefully case side, man. And, uh, you know, I hate to see you locals fight each other. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be televised. So There's definitely a great opportunity for both of you guys. So uh, we will see you then, man. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you.